Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer, and in this video, we're going to have a look at the Azure Local Well Architected Review Assessment. And so, as you know, with like building cloud services, building workloads in the cloud, or moving workloads to the cloud, there's always the question: How do I architect this correctly? Right? Thinking about security, reliability, uh, cost. There's so many questions you need to like answer and think about, depending on the different workloads you put on the cloud and the same thing is true obviously for azure local and there you even have more questions because it's integrated into your local environment either at the edge or your local data center and so there are a lot of things to think about and with the azure local well architected review assessment we want to make it easy for you to find the right guidance across different resources we have out there such as microsoft learn the azure architecture center or the well architected framework in general so let's have a quick look about the well-architected framework and then especially about the well-architected review assessment uh, for Azure Local. So before we dive in into the assessment part, uh, I want to quickly talk about the well-architected framework if you're not familiar with it. Now, the well-architected framework is really a design framework so that you can actually improve the quality of your workloads running in Azure or in this case on Azure Local, right? And it has uh, five key pillars. It's about reliability, uh, security, cost optimization, operational excellence, and performance efficiency. Those are the pillars, uh, basically the whole guidance is designed around. And depending on what you need, you can have a look at these different things. Now, the well-architected framework is really something uh, we share, and I always highly recommend if you're architecting solutions uh, on Azure. Uh, so you can see here, if you go for this guidance, there is a the guidance for the different pillars here, as I just mentioned. So you can dive into these and it will have some explanations what, what those pillars are about. And then we also have guidance, obviously, for different workloads. So in this case, let's say we have obviously AI workloads. We have, for example, Azure Virtual Desktop with specific uh, guidance here as well, but then also third party workloads on Azure, for example, like if you look at Oracle or SAP, for example, there's different guidance there as well. And then if we look at the service guidance, and that is also where we have all these different Azure services, we also have one for Azure local. So you can see here the Azure local uh, guidance in the well architected uh, framework. So if I click on Azure local, uh, you will ask to get these best practices. And again, these are like very, very valuable information. So I highly recommend on your journey to Azure to implement Azure Local, or even if you have already implemented, to actually go through this as well, right? So again, it's like split by these different pillars. So you can dive into, okay, what do I need to think about reliability? There's a workload design checklist, for example. So what do I need to think of? Uh, for example, what SLOs? Um, do I have for my workloads? So this I will basically talk about a little bit later on as well in the assessment, but this is like one thing you need to think of, right? And then you obviously have other things you need to go through um, when you design this for reliability, and then you have this configuration recommendations here for this. Then the next pillar would be security. Again, you get here workload design checklist and so on and so on. And you get this for all the different um, pillars in the well-architected framework for Azure Local in this case. But again, this is not the thing which I want to talk about today. Uh, again, it's like, okay, great, we have this information, but where do I get actually started, right? We also have, for example, uh, the Azure Architecture Center, which delivers some architectures on Azure Local. So if you can see here, you find a lot of different uh, parts of this. So for example, if you look at arc, uh, um, the architecture of Azure Local here itself, uh, you will find some baseline architecture information. But then also if you go down and scroll, uh, for example, let's say we go to storage, we have architecture designs here. How does storage work, right? So you can think of, okay, how does this work? How do I architect it the right way to get the right performance, the right capacity uh, and cost? And how do I get the right reliability um, and basically full tolerance in this case as well? And the same thing we have about networking and the network topology, which you need to integrate in this specific case. Now, again, great question. We have obviously also a lot of more documentation about Azure Local and Learn, but how do I get like, where do I need to invest? Where do I, what are the things I already know? 
but maybe there are things I don't know or haven't done enough research yet. So what do I need to do? And that is where, when we go back to the well-architected framework side, uh, this is where the assessment tooling comes in. So for different types of workloads, especially and generally about the well-architected framework, we have some assessment tools here. So if I click on assessments here, I can start the Azure well-architected review assessment. And basically this is a general assessment I can take, but then we also have specific assessments um, for certain things. So for example, if I then click on uh, browse all, I'm gonna now specifically look for the Azure local one. And if I find here, so I find the Azure local uh, well-architected review here, and I could then basically start a new assessment. And we will just do that in just a second. But I wanna quickly also tell you that you can also save these assessments, right? So for example, you can see here on the bottom, I already have saved two assessments here and we will look, have a look at this and see what the result of this well-architected uh, assessment is gonna be. So let's jump in and have a look how I create a new assessment here. Uh, I have to say I'm logged in with a Microsoft account here so that I can basically save this um, review or this assessment and I can modify it later or finish it later. I can also have a look at the guidance later on. I can also go and say, hey, um, we have different milestones and like I do it in a month again. How did we improve over that time? And so I'm gonna show you that in just a bit. But let's get started with this um, review here. And so I can provide this with a name. Um, let's say this is data center integration for sovereign cloud or something like that or i could go for my edge locations or retail stores um, or factory integration whatever it is it could be like different scenarios you can also have it over your whole environment as well again it's your name you choose whatever you want to do with it and then you can start basically the assessment and it then asks you which of the five pillars from the um well-architected framework you want to address, right? In some cases, you probably just want to think about security or you just want to think about reliability. Um, so you can choose like if you want to just focus on one. In my case, I'm going to focus on all of these, right? I want to have the whole Azure local journey uh, covered in this assessment and find out where do I have gaps, where do I need to invest uh, and where I'm already in a very, very good state. So with that, I click on next. And then we will start with these questions, right? So you can see on the uh, left-hand side here, you can see all the different question parts come up. So this one is, for example, for reliability. So you can see here there are quite a few pages with questions on it. Uh, again, these are simple yes or no questions. So it's not about like, okay, I need to like think very deep about it. It's something, okay, we thought about this or we didn't, right? And so then based on this information, we can make uh, recommendations later on as well. And then again, if I scroll down, you can see we have the same thing for security and cost optimization, uh, operational excellence and performance efficiency. So let's have a look at how, for example, one of these questions can look like. This is the first one, right? So it's about how to define and monitor workload reliability targets, right? And so you saw this before in the well-architected framework itself, and we're talking about, okay, service level objectives here, um, and the question is really, did we document targets for our applications or workload deployments on Azure Local? And so if you did that, yes, okay, we did. Uh, we did to cover, uh, documented recovery targets, for example. We looked at um, definitions for health and degraded and so on. And you can basically fill this out and say, yes, we did or we didn't, right? In some cases, you can also gonna say, okay, I've looked at none of the above. So we haven't really done this. So there's some work obviously we need to do. And then this goes through all these different processes. So for example, also when we go to the security part, there's one section which goes into how do you design and implement network security, right? So for example, segmentation of perimeter controls. Uh, yes, we did that. Um, yes, we're using SMB signing and SMB encryption uh, for, for our um, uh, networks here as well. And then same thing if we go, for example, down to um, like cost optimization, for example, let's take one here um, for regulatory monitoring um, and so on. So are you like regularly monitoring and analyzing your Azure local costs? So you can see here, we already have a few questions here. Uh, do we use alerting um, for that? 
Um, do we look at pricing options for the Azure Log Analytics workspace? And then that, like, because some services like Azure Local, like the pricing is very, very simple in, in cases, uh, but then you can add these additional services, for example, for monitoring, Defender, and so on, which are pay-per-use costs, uh, which is great, but then obviously you want to kind of like monitor this as well. And then if you add more and more services, you want to be in control to see uh, how this looks like. So we ask you about, in this case, when it comes to cost optimization, are you regularly monitoring this? Uh, as well, right? And then again, you can go down to all these different things you can do about talks about capacity planning, uh, about how do you operate it, how do you monitor it in terms of workload availability, um, and so on. Um, also, it goes a couple of questions. For example, have you done certain trainings? Do your operators or admins know how to operate this? Right. And once you're finished, you basically could go back and say view guidance. Now, since I haven't finished it. Um, Again, I want to say of time, for the sake of time, I will basically not run through all these questions here. Um, but like in a good cooking show, I already prepared something. So if I go back um, to my assessments here, let me go one more back. Um, let's go to browse. I go to like this, and you can see here, this is the assessment we just started. And then here we have the assessment I've completed before um, here. So let me go into this assessment again. And now you will see a couple of things I just mentioned. With this assessment part, um, I can see here that this is a specific milestone, right? So this is a milestone in the time I took it. And we understand that like in the next couple of weeks or months, you're probably gonna improve and things are gonna change. So you could basically go through, create a new milestone here, and then go through these questions again, or basically say this and this changed, right? So that you can see how you actually improved in this. Now, but let's have a quick look at this specific milestone right here, because what is the outcome of this, right? Uh, again, we have here, it go, jumps to the last um, uh, entered question. So if I go to view guidance, then this will take the result of this. And then this is how the result looks like. So you can see here, I'm a bit in a moderate state, right? I'm not doing too bad, but I'm also not really doing really, really well. So there's certain things I need to invest and we make it easy to actually for you to look at where this is, right? Again, you have the five pillars of the well-architected framework here, uh, reliability, security, cost optimization, operational excellence and performance efficiency. And then you can look at um, where, how, how well did I do? So for example, in the security part, I'm almost in the green. So not doing super well, but again, this is probably like the part I invested the most in this, in this demo example. But then I can see here, there are others which I, where I need to do a little bit more work. However, I can see here that in my example, there's not really like a big difference. They're all much aligned, right? So usually I hope for you, it's more in the green. Uh, but then you can see that, for example, when it comes to cost optimization, there are certain things you haven't probably looked at. So again, this is something uh, to look at and then I can basically look at this as well. Now, great, we have this overview, but now where do I go? And that is where we actually give you these recommendations and these actionable recommendations here, uh, which you can see. So let's have a look at, for example, reliability first here. So we give you the recommendations based on the answers you gave uh, with a priority as well. So that we say, okay, this is the best way to get started, right? Because otherwise, how would I know where do I can make them? Where can I make the most impact? So we gave you basically the different priorities here. And then, so for example, there are certain uh, things I need to uh, look at. For example, one, define availability objectives for your workloads. So we get this recommendation. Again, we talked about this just a bit before. So if I click on that, it will take me basically um, of these key strategies, for example, in the well-architected framework. And again, this is not something now specific to Azure Local. This is now specific basically to reliability as well. You can see here this is part of the uh, well-architected framework. Now, if I go back, let's take something a little bit more um, designed for Azure Local. So for example, do I go and look at uh, monitoring data and storage availability? Um, so I can look at this, right? And this will take me there uh, as well. 
And then if I go down and let's have some, let's have a look at some other features here. And we have the same thing for security, uh, which I can look at. And here, for example, uh, use BitLocker for end uh, encryption of data at rest. So if I click on this, this will then take me to the documentation of Azure Local and how basically encryption at rest works with BitLocker and so on. So this will take me to the documentation page here. And again, depending on where I need to go, this will really, really help me to find out and give me the right links, right? For example, there's another one where it says, hey, you should only use certified hardware for Azure local deployments, right? And I hope obviously every one of you who's doing an Azure local deployment already knows about this. But if you have just started with like in a POC or you're just testing it out in the lab, you're probably not aware uh, of that. So uh, it will take me directly where I need to go. And this is the Azure local solutions catalog. And it will show me all the different uh, solutions here from different vendors uh, uh, as well. And I talked about this in another video where I went a little bit deeper into the catalog. And we also have here a sizer, which will help you, for example, design your Azure local environment. But if I'm going back again, I just want to highlight quickly a little bit more. Uh, there's much, much more. So for example, just to look at this, um, when it comes to operational um, excellence here, one easy thing, for example, it will take me to the Azure local training for here. Highly recommend, obviously, that all the admins taking care of this uh, will basically do this training uh, where you can actually go and learn about Azure Local here. And there's a course online uh, where you can run through uh, as well. And again, it takes basically all these different resources we have online and puts them together in one single place. And it's easy for you to figure out, okay, okay, to improve this, I need to basically have a look at these different resources. So with that, I hope this was a good overview for you uh, about the Azure Local Well-Architected Review Assessment. And I hope you liked the video, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one. Thank you.